Protected rainforest is the bountiful hunting ground of the Waodani. Far from the village, Competi stalks silently through the dense undergrowth, peering into the canopy far above in search of monkeys. Although the jungle abounds with creatures, they are almost always hidden from view. An emerald tree boa lurks ominously overhead. Gun at the ready, Campetti pauses to imitate a bird. Because the Araceri is busily feeding on berries, Campetti is unable to lure it close enough for a shot, so he moves on silently, deeper into the jungle. Disturbed by a movement, a deadly coral snake emerges from underneath the leaf litter to investigate. As Competti proceeds deeper into the forest, he stops intermittently to call in howler monkeys. comes a reply. On today's hunt, Campetti's seven-year-old grandson, Awa, has come along to help. In the canopy almost 120 feet above the jungle floor, the shadowy forms of two howlers come into view. Campetti prepares a poison dart and notches it with the razor-sharp teeth of a piranha jaw. If the monkey tries to pull out the dart, the poison tip will break off, remaining in the wound to do its deadly work. Campetti must act quickly or the monkey will flee. A single leaf deflects the dart, and he must try again. A hit, but one dart is not enough for a 20-pound howler. Awa and Kempeti must now pursue the wounded monkey as it flees through the canopy more than ten stories above. The pursuit will take them over a distance of several miles, and in the ensuing three-hour chase, Kempeti will expend almost 30 darts. Partially paralyzed, the howler takes refuge in the fork of a tree. In this crucial phase of the hunt, Awa learns to provide essential help. By now, the monkey has been hit three times, 
It is beginning to slow down and is easier to follow. Trying to get a final shot, Competti attempts to scare the monkey into view. Two more shots and a final hit. The dying monkey, almost completely immobilized, still clings stubbornly to the branches above. Campetti, almost 60 years old, must now climb 100 feet into the canopy to retrieve his dying prey. Leaving the relative safety of the jungle floor, he enters the monkey's own environment to try to bring it down. The howler, by now unconscious, is wedged between two branches and Competti must precariously cross over to its refuge to dislodge it. On today's hunt, Competti has had to climb 11 trees, each over 100 feet tall, all for just one 20-pound monkey. Before starting the long journey home, Competti takes a dart from his quiver and silently marks the trail. Perhaps another hunter who passes here will be as lucky as he. Competti, wearily returning home with his meager reward, tells Awa that the monkeys are getting scarce. We had to go too far today. Perhaps it is time to move on to a new place. To Dewey Toomey. Competti's monkey will be cooked and shared by all members of the household. Other hunters have returned tonight with no meat at all. Portions will be small, but everyone will get a reassuring share. Hey, <laughs> 